materials that I have to take, take care of this little, this little grubbo. Uh, this is the container the grub was shipped in. It stayed in it for one night and it's right now sitting at the bottom of the container, but I don't wanna make it upset. But they say that during this stage, they like to wander around, so this tiny cup isn't big enough for Grubbo. So what I'm gonna do is I got about a quart size um, a container here that I'm gonna fill with flake soil, which is made of decomposing hardwood, I think this one's oak that I have, and then I'm gonna fill it up to the brim here, and then poke holes in this lid. Uh, you don't want too, too many holes, um, because they like to keep the dirt moist, and you don't want it to dry out. So I'm gonna take this nail, and I'm gonna drive it through the lid, but from the inside out, because if I went from the outside in, the plastic bending aid could potentially hurt your grubbo um, as they kind of explore wander around. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fill this with the flake soil that I have that I bought from US Beetles. Um, they clean their soil to make sure that there's no mites or other bug eggs in there. So this is just pure flake soil for my little grubbo and then you guys will see me transfer him. So I'm just going to move grubbo to the side for now. Um, also I bought this little um, spray bottle for water just in case uh, the soil does get too dry. I'm going to spray one end of the container so the grub can kind of find where it wants to be. You don't want to like make it all wet all the time. They're the ones that know what they're looking for in the soil so um, making it moist on one end will help it decide giving my own grubbo a choice. So I don't know, it's kind of interesting I guess. So um, now for the holes. Go ahead and just push this through. And as you can see, I'm doing from the inside out. Okay, so this is what the flake soil looks like. Um, it came in this Ziploc bag. Um, the Ziploc bag does have tiny, tiny holes in it. Um, I'm sure it's to keep it from molding. This is gonna where people say, ooh, gross, but um, it's important that the larvae are around uh, fecal matter uh, from the adults because that's where they get their probiotics. Um, so I know it's kind of weird, but bugs. Okay, so I'm going to carefully dump the rest of the dirt that's in here on here and then get little Grubbo out and maybe we'll get a close up of Grubbo before uh, it burrows. <laughs> Covered in your cute little hairy flakes and stuff. I've been told that the dots that you see along here on the side of little one are their lungs. That's how they breathe. Container. As you can see, this was way smaller, but this is bigger than what you could do with an L1 and an L2 uh, staged larva. So, 
Uh, I may end up poking two more holes in this, but we'll see how it turns out. <laughs>